From Surah Ali Imran, verse 31. Surah 3, verse 31. This verse, the majority of the scholars say something about this specific verse. They say, therein, in this verse, in this ayah, therein lies an important information, a secret, but which is revealed. A secret, lies a secret, same time a great information. Sometimes when we say secret, we may think that it is something hidden. It's not from something hidden. Actually, it's an information, but very important. Secret as the thing that what we will do will be achieved, we will have al qabul from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will have his reward, his acceptance. The majority of the scholars say therein, in this verse, lies this great, important news, information. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ The scholars say, in that part, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, to us, Say, if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala azza wa jal, say, if you love Allah. That is, our statement of saying, we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a question like that is raised right now, asking you, do you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do we love Allah? And I ask you to raise uh, your hand. Whomever love Allah, raise your hand. I am sure, without hesitation, we'll all agree and we'll all raise our hand and say that we love Allah. We will say this statement, we love Allah. That is what is being said in this verse. Qul say, in if you love Allah. Qul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah. That's, we are saying we love Allah. You get it? We are saying we love Allah. So the scholars say, the secret, the important information lies between our statement being mentioned here in the Quran. Our statement that what? We say, we love Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala imposes a condition when saying, in tawqeed in Nurat al-Arabiya, emphasis. Here, there is a an if with a condition, a conditional if. For those who understand Arabic and the grammar, there is a conditional if. Emphasis in if you say you love Allah, so if you love Allah, there is a condition. And then, this is our statement that we say we love Allah. Now there is this command, the in, is this being imposed upon us? Say, if you love Allah, there is something. And then the verses, we go a bit further, the same ayah say, <laughs> The scholars say, the information, the great, great, great information lies between the statement we say, we love Allah, the order being imposed upon us by Allah, say, if you love Allah, the conditional if, you get it? Tawqeed. And then, يُحْبِبُكُمْ Allah, You will be loved by Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is now the statement of Allah. There is something that lies between my statement of saying, I love Allah, and now there is the statement of Allah, you being beloved by him. Not that. Not only that. You being beloved by him and what? 
يغفر لكم ذنوبكم you being forgiven for all your ذنب for all your sins mistakes errors anything like that the question is now in another, another way, we ask it. Do you love Allah? Do we love Allah? Rabbul Alameen, taqulu fi adal masjid. Do we love Allah? Yes or no? Yes. 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 We say it. That's, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us. We say, we love Allah. In kuntum tuhibbun Allah. Say, if you love Allah. Now I ask a simple question. Do you want to be beloved by the one you say you love? Do you want it? We say we love Allah, but we are not sure, we are not sure that we are being beloved. We hope so. Yes or no? We are in great hope because this we are talking about Ar-Rahman. We are talking about Ar-Rahim. We are talking about Al-Wadun. We are talking about Al-Salam. Our sins is not greater than His mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How great you may think your sins are is not greater than the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we all want to be beloved by the one we say we love. We love Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you the opportunity to be beloved now by Him. And we have the answer lies within the same verse. There is a key, the ulama say, the miftah, the key. And this, the third question, the first question I ask you humbly is, do we love Allah? We all respond, yes. Do you want to be beloved by Allah, the one you say you love? We say yes. Do you want to be forgiven? Do you want to be forgiven? Do you, are we in hope in entering Al-Jannah? بدون عقاب إن شاء الله تعالى عز وجل not being punished but being forgiven by Allah سبحانه وتعالى to be are we in hope of that are we in hope of that to be forgiven by Allah سبحانه وتعالى do you want to be forgiven do I want to be forgiven the answer is yes we have the solution we have the key we have the key for being granted these Opportunity, these favor, these bounties. Who is the key? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran pertaining to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fattabi'uni. Fattabi'uni. The ulama say that is the second part of the Tawheed al Kalima, the Kalima al Tawheed. التوحيد الاتباع اتباع النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم he is the key سيدنا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم between our statement of saying I we love Allah and our hope to be beloved and forgiven by him the key to be beloved by Allah the key to be forgiven by Allah is Sayyiduna Muhammad Al-Mustafa Al-Mujtaba Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Ahbaba Allahu Rabbul Alameen Rasulun Rahmatan Lil Alameen Rasul Rahma Al-Alameen Allah Rabbul Alameen Rasulun the key is him, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you obey Allah, but you disobey Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or if you say you love Allah, but you doubt about Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are in doubt about your love. You, your, your heart is corrupted. You are saying that he is like me and you. You are saying that as if he was a simple postman that came on this, in this dunya. If you see him with the eyes of Abu Jahl, you may see him like that. But if you see him through the eyes of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, وَمَنْ تَبَعَهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ 
and those who follow him, you will see him as Rahmatan lil Alameen. You will see him as the Sayyidul Alameen. You will see him as the Imam al Anbiya wal Mursaleen. You will see him as the Shafi' al Muznibin, the one of whom we praise. We make Qasida, Na'ad Sharif, we make so many Qasida out of love for him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not because he is in need of our Na'ad Sharif, actually because we need him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's reverse. Don't think he is in need of our praise. For who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, ba'adhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, wa rafa'na Lacking the clock. Do you think Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam need our dhikr with us? This is being imposed upon us to make the dhikr. Do you know why? Because we are in need of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Maybe I am in need of your praise. May Allah save us. But Rasul alayhi salatu wa sallam is not in need of fame, name, or in need of our dhikr. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates him the greatest honor, the greatest maqam, khayru khalqillah, wa rahmatan lil alameen. Even for the black ant on the black rock in the dark night, Rasul is its rahmah. Rasulullah is its rahmah, yes. Even for the animal, the animals, the the color complain to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even the animals complain to him. He was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam merciful even to the ant. One day he passed by and see some, uh, some ants being burned and say the burning is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The azab of burning is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are we to burn? What? Ant. The ant. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And how many particles in this dunya that we don't see? Allah rabbul alameen wa rasulun rahmatan bin alameen ahbaba. He is not like me and you, but he is the key between your statement of saying, I love Allah, and the statement of Allah of you being beloved by him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being forgiven for our sins, the key is Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fattabi'uni. Now we see the scholars going into details about at tawheed al ittiba'. The Sahaba, Ridwallah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in, among which one among them, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma, he whom Allah, Allah's Mahmoud, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, called him Bahr, Al-Bahr, the ocean of knowledge. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas, we are far from being even a drop of knowledge. He was called by Rasul al-Alameen, ocean of knowledge. He said, when we say ittiba' is like to follow him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a manner that, for example, he is walking on a desert, you see the trace of his path, and you put your foot in the same path, in the same trace you are seeing, you put it in that. Try to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like that. It is a metaphoric explanation to say how to follow Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam. Others explain, فَاتَّبِعُونِي What is the meaning of it? The first condition is mahabba because the ayah starts with mahabba. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّ This is the word حُبْ Love and the verse ends by love. يُحْبِرُكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْنَكُمْ this is the Prophet of love, the Messenger of love, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa Sallam, Mahabba. It says, فَاتَّبِعُونِ The first condition of Tawheed al-Ittiba' The first condition is what? 
is to love him. So he who loves me will surely, inshallah, follow me. He who loves me will follow me. He who has mahabba for me shall do his or her best to act as I acted in a specific situations. That's why we have Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like the Nur al-Anwar. Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest guide for us. Is it not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran ba'adhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim naqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana Who is the uswatun hasana ahbaba? Ya ayu al-shabam Oh my dear beloved youth who is our model? It is Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the path of fun of our soul. Be the fun, be a fun of Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam out of your best with the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because by ourselves we can't. Unless we are being supported by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Azza wa jal. We should imitate him at our best. We can't be him, Ahbaba. We can't be him. No, no one can be him. But we have him to imitate, to follow. And we should be in conformity with his teachings and traditions not contradicting his teachings and traditions. We should follow the jama'ah that follow him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that why we call the ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. When we say it's not a sect, right? We say al, if we go to the word al, we say family. We may say people of the household. We may think, oh, we can say Ahl means people. Several meanings, different interpretation, but we can add, it, add something. Ahl Sunnah, those familiar with the Sunnah. Those familiar with, accustomed with the Sunnah, Wal Jama'ah, and the congregations that were familiar, accustomed to the what? To the Sunnah, the teachings and the traditions of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the first place of the Sahaba. At the first place, the Sahaba, after them, the Tabi'i, the after them, the Tabi'in. Rasul alayhi salatu wa sallam is the key, Ahbaba, to be beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How come we say we love him? But if ever we come to analyze our mode of our way of life, we see so many contradictions. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us sincere in our love for Rasulullah <laughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, because without him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, without the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam irrigating your heart and your soul, without the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam irrigating your heart and your soul, what is the meaning of our existence, Ahbaba? What is the meaning of our existence if we don't recognize him? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. See something will end by two hadith, insha'Allah ta'ala azza wa jal. Someone, a hadith narrated by Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu. A man came to Rasul alayhi salatu wa sallam and said, Ya Rasulallah, mata sa'a? Ya Rasulallah, when is the hour? When is Yawmul Qiyamah? When is the hour? See the answer of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَمَا أَعْدَدَّ لَهَا And what have you prepared for Yawmul Qiyamah? You will see that? The answer was not a Friday, you know. It will be somehow a not No, not like that. The answer of Rasul alayhi salatu wa sallam to the question is, When is Yawmul Qiyamah? The answer is what? What have you prepared for Yawm al-Qiyamah? 
See the answer now of this Sahabi, Allahu Akbar. The Sahabi did not <coughs> boast, did not uh, like to flatter himself. See, they say, see how much salawat I'm doing every day, the namaz, how much roza, fasting. No, 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 he doesn't do that. He didn't, what well, he said, he said, la. When he said la, actually he said, he's saying, not much thing, out of humbleness, you get me? Out of humbleness, not much thing, not many things. Except that I'm convinced I love Allah and I love the Messenger of Allah. This is the greatest thing I've prepared for Yom, for yom al Qiyamah. The greatest thing I've prepared for Yom al Qiyamah is what? The love of sincere in the love of Allah and being sincere in the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are not saying that this Sahabi, do, do we think that he was neglecting Salah? Or can we compare our Salah and this Sahabi in particular Salah? No. But he did not boast, he did not want fame. You see, I, I, I did so much Salah, I did thousands of Salah, uh, uh, apart from the five farf, I do so many Rosa, Nawafil fasting, Nawafil. No, 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 he didn't say that. He did not put that forward. He said, what I've prepared for you on Qiyamah is the sincerity in the love of Allah and the love of the beloved Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say now what Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to which reply? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَإِنَّكَ مَعَ مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ Verily you will be with whom you love. Allahu Akbar, do you hear that? Surely you will be with whom you love, whom you imitate, whom you are fun, whom you love, you will be with them. This is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu said, in conclusion of what Rasul alayhi salatu was salam responded, he said, فَمَا فَرِحْنَا بِشَيْءٍ بَعْدَ الْإِسْلَامِ فَرَحَنَا بِقَوْلِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ إِنَّكَ مَعَ مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ Allahu Akbar. He said, we have never been so happy after that we entered Islam. We have never been so happy after that we embraced Islam. Until we hear the word of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he say, you will be with whom you love. This is the greatest news, happy news, loving Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The equation, if you love him, the equation is what? The result is what, inshaAllah ta'ala, is to be with him sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And Sayyidina Anas say, continue to say, Radiallahu anhu, فَأَنَا أُحِبُّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ For I love the Messenger of Allah. وَأَبَا بَكْرٍ I love Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. And I love Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab Radiallahu anhu. فَأَرْجُوا أَنْ أَكُونَ مَعْهُمْ بِحُبِّي I am in great hope for the love I have for Allah's Messenger, for Sayyidina Abu Bakr, for the love I have for Sayyidina Umar. I am in hope to be, to be with them in Al Jannah, although my actions may not be the same in balance as their action, in the balance. My action is not the same value, same status like that, but I'm in hope to be with them in Anjana. Why? Bihubbi. Because by the love that I have for them. And we end by the another hadith. The same Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik was along with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is advising Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik. He is advising Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu. He say in a cherishing way, he say, Ya Bunayya, O oh my beloved son, 
When saying Bunaya, it's not like Ibn. Ibn means son. Bunaya is a more cherishing way. Yeah, like saying a Luqman and say, Ya Bunaya, la tushrik billah. La tusa'ir khadaka min nas. I say, Ya Bunaya, oh my beloved little son. Beloved. He say, In qadamta an tusbiha wa tumsiya. If you can, if it is possible for you, be it in the morning when you woke up, or being in the evening before you go to sleep. If you can, O oh my son, fi qalbika ghishun li ahadil. If you can, you don't have any hatred, any deception for anybody in your heart. If you can, in your heart, not nourish, nourishing, is it good? Nourishing, that hatred for somebody, fas'al, do it for my son. Don't keep hatred in your heart for anybody. Do it, be it when you walk up and before you go to sleep. See your heart. We are talking about meat, eating meat, halal, but how many times we backbite? How many times we are talking ill of our brothers? Or whatever they may have do, good as if we were angels. You are eating their flesh as if they were dead. And you are seeking meat halal, yes? We ought to eat meat halal, yes? But not eat the meat halal indirectly by, by biting. Don't keep hatred in your heart. Don't nourish your heart with hatred. For anybody, if you can do that, oh my beloved son, فَفْعَلْ do it, oh my son. ثُمَّ قَالَ لِي Sayyidina Anas said, then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to me, يَا بُنَيَّ Oh my beloved little son, وَذَلِكَ مِنْ سُنَّتِي And this is from my tradition, this is from my sunnah. What is from my sunnah? Not nourish hatred in your heart for anybody. Keep your heart alive with dhikrullah, not with, with mahabba, the heart is alive, not with hatred. With hatred, the heart dies. The heart dies with hatred. The heart dies with anger, ahbab al -kiram. And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, وَمَنْ أَحْيَا sunnati, He who revives my sunnah, implement my sunnah, فَقَدْ أَحَبَّنِي This is an evidence that he is in love with me. He loves me. The proof to love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to act upon his sunnah as much as we can be ibn Allah. وَمَنْ أَحَبَّنِي Do you want the... We end by this great news. وَمَنْ أَحَبَّنِي And he who loves me. And he who loves Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam كَانَ مَعِي فِي الْجَنَّةِ Shall be with me in my jannah. Shall be with me in... Jannah, the guarantee, special guarantee from who? From me? No, from who? Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man ahabbani, who he loved, who, who he loves me, shall be with me in, uh, in al Jannah, insha'Allah ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a tawfiq to be sincere in the love of Allah and sincere in the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he is the key to success, the key to be beloved by Allah and the key to be forgiven by Allah and the key to be with the greatest of the greatest companions Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those who follow him and the Anbiya wal Mursaleen Barakallahu feekum wa akhir da'awahum ala alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Allah